Silverback Gorilla vs. Lioness Who would win a fight between these two great animals from Africa? After the Lion vs. Gorilla video, and since the Lion is different from the Lioness, today we will compare the Gorilla with the Lioness. Lionesses and gorillas are two animals that live in Africa. With unmatched strength, speed, and natural weapons to attack and defend, they could easily dispatch humans and other animals. In the wild, a silverback gorilla is the mature, experienced male leader of a group of mountain gorillas. Named for the silver saddles across his back, the silverback is responsible for the safety of his group. The silverback chooses where the troop goes, where it forages for food, where it rests, and where it sleeps at night. The world's most social felines, lions roam the savannas and grasslands of the African continent, hunting cooperatively and raising cubs in pride. A female lion, the lioness, is a symbol of strength, and rightfully so. In fact, in reality, the true star of the pride is the lioness. What do they look like? A grayish-white hairline around the back and shoulders characterizes silverback gorillas. A silverback is significantly larger than a female. When they stand upright, they are from 5.5 to 6 feet tall, 1.67 to 1.82 meters, and weigh between 300 to 430 pounds, 136 to 195 kilograms. The silverback's ears appear to be too small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. Silverbacks are also extremely hairy, with the most hair of any gorilla species. Their arms are shorter than lowland gorilla arms, and their legs are shorter than their arms. The lion is a well-muscled cat with a long body, large head, and short legs. Size and appearance vary considerably between the sexes. The female, or lioness, is smaller, with a body length of 4.9 feet, 1.5 meters, a shoulder height of 2.95 to 3.6 feet, 0.9 to 1.1 meters, and a weight of 264 to 400 pounds, 120 to 180 kilograms. The lioness's coat is short and varies in color from buff yellow, orange brown, or silvery gray to dark brown, with a tuft on the tail tip that is usually darker than the rest of the coat. Where do they live? Gorillas are found in the dense forests of East, Central, and Western Africa. Lowland gorillas can be sighted in forests and swamps along the Congo River Basin. Mountain gorillas are mostly found in the wider Virunga Conservation Region and Buwindi Impenetrable Forest. Western lowland gorillas are more widespread and found in Gabon, Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, Central African Republic, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, and Republic of the Congo. Mountain gorillas live in Mugahinga National Park in Uganda, Buindi National Park in Uganda, the Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda, and Virunga National Park in Congo. Lions live in a variety of habitats, including open plains, thick brush, and dry thorn forests. Lions now only live in Africa, from the Sahara's southern fringe to northern South Africa. With the exception of a small population of the Indian lion subspecies that remains in the Gear Forest of northwest India. They are not found in equatorial regions dominated by moist tropical forests. What do they eat? Gorillas eat only plants. Vine, leaves, stems, shoots, and roots make up their diet. Fruit is also consumed by western lowland gorillas. Gorillas will occasionally consume invertebrates found among the plants they eat. A mature male gorilla can consume up to 45 pounds, 20 kilograms of vegetation per day. It is well known that in a pride, 
Lionesses do all the work when it comes to hunting. Lionesses do the majority of the hunting at night, especially at dusk and dawn. Their eyes have a horizontal streak of nerve cells that helps them track prey across a plain. Lionesses have been observed hunting prey as large as buffalo and giraffes. Antelope and other ungulates, baby elephants or rhinos, rodents, reptiles, insects and even crocodiles are all prey for lionesses. They also scavenge or steal prey from leopards, cheetahs, hyenas or African hunting dogs and will eat spoiled food. How do they behave in the wild? Gorillas live on the ground and, like many primates, are social. They live in groups led by a silverback that typically include several females and their young. Silverbacks may display aggression by beating their chests and charging when threatened because they are responsible for the safety of their family group. They are otherwise unusually shy. Gorillas build sleeping nests out of leaves and branches. Lionesses have strong maternal instincts, but are also skilled hunters. They are wary of outsiders and do not tolerate outside females, and the pride membership changes only with the births and deaths of lionesses. The lioness is a magnificent image of strength, passion, and beauty. She stands for a fierce defender of her family and a more than capable provider. Lionesses are the main hunters in the group of lions. They provide food for the male lion and cubs. Their second responsibility is to raise their cubs. Only the current male lion's cubs are allowed to be members of the pride. If a new lion defeats the previous lion king, he will kill all the small cubs so that lionesses can breed with him. The tragic event is that the female lion will allow it to happen. Apart from that, lionesses are wonderful, caring mothers who serve as the glue that holds the pride together. But the real question that is the subject of this video is who would win a fight between a silverback gorilla and a lioness? In most cases, the larger animal will win a fight. They are typically stronger and capable of using that strength to kill their opponent. Interestingly, the size differences between a lioness and a silverback gorilla are not that significant if we think about the maximum weight they can reach. The gorilla has an obvious advantage in a dense forest, whereas lionesses have an advantage in open fields like savannas. A silverback gorilla does not hunt. On the other hand, lionesses have short legs with powerful claws. They use them to inflict both blunt and cutting blows. Gorillas have very strong and long arms. Even though they don't have claws, they use their hands to craft rocks and trees as weapons. The large canine teeth in gorillas are not designed to rip off flesh, but instead to intimidate potential opponents. However, lionesses have a bite force under 900 to 1000 psi. Surprisingly enough, Gorillas can bite with an incredible 1300 psi. Their strong jaw muscles and massive necks make the production of such a bite force possible. In terms of speed, the lioness will be superior. The gorilla's strength and the ability to use makeshift weapons using the trees and rocks around him will help fend off a lioness's attack and make up for his short reach. Should a lioness dare to attack a silverback head-on, she can use his powerful throwing force to land a serious and possibly fatal blow. However, the intelligence of a gorilla also lends an upper hand, allowing them to employ cleverness and the use of tools to aid his survival. The lioness, despite its predatorial strengths, leans upon an assassin's technique. Due to her low stamina, she depends heavily upon a stealthy approach in order to take down his foe in a single strike, followed by a brief struggle. A good clamp of a lioness's jaws can put the gorilla down if she can surprise the gorilla with a pounce that leaves the animal's throat exposed. 
Even while the gorilla fights against the lioness's teeth, its ferocious claws can rip wounds into it. However, much would ride upon the success of that attack. Once the lioness's cover is blown, both time and the fearsome pounding of a gorilla's fists and makeshift weapons are weighed against the lioness. While the pale grass terrain may give her a stealth advantage, she still will depend heavily upon the success of that first attack. So, in my opinion, if the lioness manages to attack first and deliver a fatal blow to the gorilla, it will win. Otherwise, I think the silverback gorilla will win. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.